All right, good Thursday morning, everybody. Uh, the Iceman here. Um, with the lack of a lot of wrestling storylines at this point, uh, at this juncture right now, um, the YWC is branching off in different directions. And, um, you know, I understand. I mean, you know, if there's not much going on in the world of professional wrestling and, and, and you want to continue making videos, you have to find alternatives uh, of things to talk about. And that's what a lot of people are doing. But it seems like lately that there is a lot of dissension uh, amongst the YWC, IWC uh, YouTubers. And there's been a lot of videos being made. And, you know, it seems like there's a lot of hate going out. And the bottom line is, you know, this is supposed to be a community where, you know, everybody is joined together as one. And, you know, it's about professional wrestling. Now, with that being said, if there's not much to talk about in the world of professional wrestling, you know, yes, you know, you can do videos on other ideas and stuff, but what I'm seeing now is just a lot of hate videos, a lot of threat videos. Um, there's a lot of hacking going on. Um, people are losing subscribers and, you know, uh, passwords are being changed People are doing rants on other people. Now it's come to the point where you can type in your own name in the search box and somebody else's name pops up. And obviously this is no coincidence. I mean, it's it's definitely being, you know, it's pre-planned, it's premeditated. And um, has it really gotten to that point, guys? To the point where you're so bored and you're tired of doing what you're doing that you've got to um, resort to other things. You know, there's a lot of, you know, and I have to say this. Um, when you, If your channel becomes super big, which there has been some here in the YWC that has become huge, um, and then you make a video stating that you don't think that you should give a shout out to any any of the little people because they're not deserving and whatnot you got to remember it's the little people that made you big and if you enjoy that success then i think you are uh without a doubt i mean responsible to at least every now and then you know, give a shout out to the, to the little guys. I mean, they made you big. So, I mean, there's still a lot of great YouTubers out there that, that just stick to the topics and stuff. I mean, if you watch Stevie Breach, it's all about wrestling for the most part. Never bad mouths anybody. Um, does great videos, uh, has a great following. And that's what really it's all about here on YouTube when it comes to wrestling, that's the way it should be. I mean, if anybody wants to start a channel, go to Stevie Breach's channel and sort of like, um, just see what he does. And that's where you should get your example from channels like him. Um, it's gotten to the point where when you come on YouTube and you set, uh, you know, check your subscriptions and you're seeing a lot of rants, you're seeing a lot of threat videos, um, you know, going to take you down, going to take you down, going to take you down. You know, there's, this is a channel for wrestling and why anybody would be obsessed with, with jealousy of another channel doesn't make sense. I mean, people that their channel gets big is because they put a lot of hard work on it. And when you do that, you shouldn't have to worry about someone or um, people either getting into your channel, changing your password, um, 
deleting uh, your videos or or just flagging your videos. I mean, is this what this is all coming to? Because if it comes to that, it gets to the point where you say to yourself, I mean, is it really all worth it? I mean, there's so many other things and so many other social networks you can get involved with. But, um, yeah, I think people should really start sitting down and think and say to themselves, you know, yeah, we're here for the same thing. We're here to talk about professional wrestling. And if we don't have anything to talk about in the world of professional wrestling, you know, do a video vlog, um, talk about your day, uh, talk about your future plans, or just, you know, just talk about a subject that, you know, could be appealing to others. I mean, a lot of people go to do TV show reviews or movie reviews, uh, other DVD reviews and whatnot, but doing videos where if you're constantly, you know, ranting on somebody, yeah, you'll, you'll get views for that. But after a while and very quickly, it gets tiring and really nobody wants to see it. So, I mean, sort of rethink, you know, when you decide to do a video of this type, I mean, it's just gotten to the point where everybody is after everybody else and it should be, we all should be joined together. I mean, Andre Corbeil's channel was, was flagged down and I've watched pretty much all his videos and I see no reason for any of them to really be flagged. I mean, and the only reason why they did get flagged was because somebody is jealous that his channel was growing so fast. And, you know, and, you know, I don't know who it is. Um, not even going to name drop because there's just so much hate out there. It could, to be honest with you, it could be anybody, really. Um, and then you get a channel that will come out and say, well, you're blaming me. And then all of a sudden, this channel just starts making one video after another, after another, after another. And he keeps, he acts like people are, are, are wanting to take him down. And I don't see that anywhere. I mean, but anyway, you know, I guess it is what it is. So, but, um, yeah, as a group... Here in the YWC, this can be a great community, but everybody needs to band together and have each other's back. I mean, that's what it should be all about. And like I said, if, you know, Andre Corbeil does great videos. Um, there, There's so many channels out there to do great videos, um, but... If you're a new YouTuber and you want to do wrestling videos, check out Stevie Breach's channel. He sets the bar for what people and how people should act here on YouTube. So, um, and I'm not doing this video for a plug for Stevie Breach because he doesn't definitely doesn't need me to plug him because he's already big, but. I watch his videos, and this is just how it should be. So, you know, maybe um, you see my points that what I've said in this video, and then maybe you'll say, well, screw you, Iceman. I mean, I'll do what I want. I mean, you have the right. You definitely have the right. But all in all, if the community really... And if there really is a community here, uh, because it seems like it's so many in so many different directions and whatnot. But it, if, if it is a community, people need to start banding themselves together and, and, and start rethinking 
and start repackaging. So everybody have a great day here. Um, it's supposed to be a pretty warm day here in Connecticut. And uh, signed a petition to reinstate Andre Corbeil's original YouTube channel. And whether or not the channel does get reinstated, um, it will be very well appreciated by Andre and all his supporters that, you know, there, there are good people out here that, um, you know, that do the right thing here on YouTube. And uh, that is a, a breath of fresh air to know that. So peace out, everybody.